uh, here on duty we get an hour to work out a day. So I was in the gym and I was just doing some, some basic weights routine and I started to do some dumbbell uh, bench press. And I grabbed 25 pounds, which is nothing really in the grand scheme of things. And I started to uh, press and I realized that my right side wasn't going to press 25 pounds. Yeah. The pain was excruciating. And so I would have right shoulder pain, I'd have right arm pain to the point where it was just unbearable. And so um, I got called my uh, fire department doc and told him, you know, my pain was basically like a, a 14 out of a 10. I can't, I can't take this anymore. My name's Jeff Mutchie. Uh, I'm a captain with the Nampa Fire Department. I have a wife, we've been married 18 years, and I have a daughter who is uh, nine, soon to be 10. Um, I've always been extremely active. I got into endurance sports. So I did my first triathlon about uh, four years ago. So I've been a firefighter for 23 years. Um, we have physically demanding jobs. And, you know, there are times where we are wearing 50 pounds of turnout gear. You throw another 40 pounds of air packs and tools. So we're packing another 100 plus pounds of gear before we start working. And so that's fairly demanding. And uh, it's extremely demanding when you don't feel well. In the last three years, the pain progressed. The pain was so excruciating that I, I had troubles with everyday living. Um, I went through a period where I didn't sleep. I, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't lay down. Um, it was more painful to lay down than it was to just stand up and pace. Um, we, we tried every pain medication, which didn't touch it. And at that point, you're, you know, you're looking for other options. Got on the phone, called my uh, primary care doc and said, we have a problem. And he said, yes, we do. So he called Dr. Manning's office and I was in within a few days. So in Jeff's case, radiographically, he had bilateral neuroforaminal stenosis. And I said, you know, hey doc, you know, what, what do you think in? And he said, you need a fusion. And at that point, you're, you're, I was kind of scared. I'm thinking, okay, my first question is, is can I come back to work? And he said, absolutely. You should be able to do everything that you're doing now and you should feel great. And so that gave me uh, hope and it gave me um, my answer that I needed that yes, this is the only option that we have on the table. This is a very common operation. Uh, for example, the National Football League allows players that have had this operation to go on and continue playing football. Uh, I allow people to snow ski, mountain bike, stay fit, stay active once they're done and once it's healed up. So in Jeff's case, we went in through the neck anteriorly. We removed the herniated discs at the C6, C7 level, at the C5, C6 level. We drilled down all the bone spurs and then we carried out a fusion by taking some bone graft, packing it into small polymer cages, inserting those in the disc spaces to hold it open, facilitate fusion. And then we secure the whole thing with a plate bridging, in Jeff's case, between C5 and C7. I go in, I come out about 11.30, it was almost midnight from surgery, and uh, I woke up and it was unbelievable. At that moment, I was like, oh my gosh, I am pain free. With a guy like Jeff, it's just super rewarding to see him come back and he continues to work as a fire captain, uh, he continues to uh, run and swim and, and he's done Ironman triathlons and he's done the Boston Marathon and, and I think he's doing just about everything he wants to do. Every year um, since she w my daughter was three we've done the daddy-daughter date night right around Valentine's Day and so we had already committed to it. Um, she knew I was having surgery so she was a little bummed thinking that we weren't gonna make it. So I promised her I may look a little funny. <laughs> I will be wearing a neck brace, but we will make it to daddy-daughter date night. And so um, there I was, we were out dancing, neck brace, neck fusion. And uh, so, yeah, I think it's important to show her that, you know, dad's gonna be fine. Dad's gonna recover and dad will be better than ever.